We see that uh, robots are everywhere today, in production lines, on the streets, as, as autonomous cars, and also in the surgical theaters. And we realize as researchers that um, robots in the ORs today only do and replicate what humans can do. And we wanted to investigate in our research whether or not we can make robots do something that human surgeons actually cannot. The goal of this robot is in fact to make a, a keyhole procedure, a tunnel procedure, go directly to the cochlea. One important uh, challenge is the facial nerve and we must go through the facial nerve which is responsible for the facial animation of your face as well the uh, taste nerve. And between the two nerves we have two and a half millimeters of space and in this space we need to drill 1.8 millimeters of a hole. So we only have 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7 millimeters on both sides and therefore we need to be super, super precise. Today, uh, what is very important that you also trust the new technology. It is not the decision of the robot who makes the hole, it's my decision. And this is very important on this project. So the robot's operation is based on three sensors that we utilize. First, we use uh, a very precise optical tracking camera that can track the, the robot with 25 micron accuracy. Secondly, we measure uh, forces as we drill and from the force data we can determine whether or not we, in the, we are in the right spot in the, in the human skull. And thirdly, and on top of everything, we send electrical stimulation impulses into the tissue and we can determine whether or not the robot is too close to critical structures. To be able to demonstrate that those safety mechanisms are actually efficient, we needed to conduct a lot of different experiments in different preclinical settings that were quite tough to, to solve. And last but not least, we have reached the goal last year, in July, where we have performed the first operation with a good success. Next to implants, we think our approach can be beneficial for things like drug delivery or bringing other compounds into the inner ear which is surgically very, very difficult, if not impossible at the moment.